I may not have been paid your money, but he'll be paid. But I'm just calling my Jesus to a free Samson here. The work didn't matter with me. The Bible says, Paul was the son. Thank God!
called Camp Mississippi. And it was while I ride through Camp. My mama's house we are there. And sometimes when I'm riding, I, I think about one day I was standing on the corner drinking a Budweiser. I know the saints probably never heard of it. A book out, but let me tell you what it is. It's a beer. Made by Anheuser Bush. I was there on the corner drinking a book bottle. And, and I hadn't been long after we smoking some weed. Come on! Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Let me say something to you. I ain't smoked weed in almost 40 years. But I'm gonna let you know something, Saints. Smoking weed ain't bad as lying.
much as to be alive. My first cousin today, I was at his wake yesterday. Um, he was coming to my birthday party uh, next Saturday. Um, but he was at work and he went to put the garbage out. They got it on tape at his store that he worked. And on his way back from taking the garbage out, his number ran out. He fell on the ground. Before anybody could get to him, he was already gone. People, that cousin that you met with, come on. That auntie that you met with, you stop speaking to. That mother that chastised you to make you mad, and you know you were wrong. You might want to give them a call. And just tell them that you love them. I met one in Dallas, Texas, in April. And before I could get back to Mississippi, my mama was already gone. Jesus. But you know what? I never grieved not one hour, not one minute. Because I gave her everything. That's right. I gave her everything she ever thought she wanted. He will supply. Because that was my mom. That's right. He will supply. Hey, uh, I'm going to tell you some more of my business, but I'm not telling y'all. Because he will supply. And then, then I'm not going to sing a number too much longer. Surely got to come up. And I know what y'all will do. That we sang over our time. Y'all to get kind, y'all get to y'all car. <laughs> y'all to get on y'all cell phones. You know, I'm like him, but that big head man, he just would never stop saying that. He will supply. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. My mama told me, said, Harvey Lee, I'm ready to go where your daddy is. I said, I know where your mama is. I said, Mama, I said, Daddy's been dead 30 years. I said, You mean to tell me that he still got your nose open? I said, He must have been tough. He must have been that guy. Mama said, You better believe me. That guy. I couldn't blame it on nobody because I was driving. Yeah. And I was driving too fast because I was mad at this Jew because he had charged me for something that he had fixed. And I was mad with him. Stop looking at me like you don't get mad. I was good in hot, but I'm talking about I was getting, I was got my pistol hot. But before I could get home, after he fixed my car. Because when he seen me get out of that car, he knew someone right. Because I wouldn't say it, hallelujah. I wouldn't say it, praise the Lord. When he saw me coming, he knew I was mad. So he told me, I got your car fixed now. So I, I was trying to see me get out of So I was flying down the highway, and it was sleeting and raining. So, and I had an accident. A bad accident. My brain was swollen. My spine was was messed up a little bit. But guess what? Before I even had my access to this one, prayer was already there. <laughs> prayer, prayer was already there. Before I could get there. You know, a few weeks later, I got where I couldn't talk. I woke up one morning, I couldn't talk. I went to five doctors. None of them could tell me what was wrong with me. Why you let me talk too long? None of them could tell me what was wrong with me. 
My sister called me from Chicago. She said, come up here. And I said, well, I got to sing, so I better do something. I got him, I got him, we went on Chicago, and when I walked in the doctor's office, this old doctor said, I know what's wrong with you. I said, you ain't even make sound out of me. It ain't good to be smart mouthed. Okay. That man said, let me show you what's wrong with you. He took, he took me in his office and put his laptop on and let, let me hear people trying to talk. And did you see the election, the Democratic Convention? Did you see RFK? Did you know it out now? Did you see him? <laughs> well, he was on there trying to talk. I turned all my support over to Donald Trump. That's the way he talked. The, re the reason he talked like that is because he got the same thing that I got. It's called spasmodic dysphonia. It's incurable. When you got it, you ain't supposed to never talk again. The doctor told me, said, <laughs> in your throat and you're going to be able to whisper but you're going to get this shot every three months I did it for about three months about, about, about six months and I told her, I said, Lord, I'm tired of going to Chicago, I ain't going no more and I didn't go no more and months later months passed, the doctor called to check on me and I was talking about good as I'm talking now and, and when I called when he called me we, I don't know about you, what do y'all know about me? In Mississippi, we got called ID. <laughs> when he called me, I saw his name, Dr. Bassett. I said, Lord, this is the man that told me, hallelujah, that I would never, ever talk again. I said, this is the man that told me it was impossible that I had an incurable disease. I said, Lord, when I answer the phone, just let my voice come out and jump in this lap. When I answer the phone, I said, hello. <laughs> Oh, 
Father want us to sing that song. Can we sing? He said, What a wonderful time. Oh, thank you, Lord. We will.
remember one Friday night. God, we were standing around my mama's bed. And she was on the ventilator. And while we watched that ventilator, we watched her temperature begin to drop. And drop. And drop. And then my mama died. But my daddy was at the house. And we went over to my sister's house. And we told daddy, daddy, mama's gone to heaven. And my daddy looked at us and said, you mean to tell me that my wife is going to glory? We said, yes, daddy. Mama's going to glory. And he looked at us and told us, I'm going to see mama again. And I said, daddy, yes, you will see mama again. And we left my daddy's room. And daddy went to bed and went to sleep. And the next morning he went to go. And through all that we were going through, I remember daddy telling me, if you hold on and you don't let go, he'll always be there. Look at somebody else telling me, he'll always be there. He'll never leave. He'll never leave. He'll never leave.
Come on, clap your hands again tonight. That's an album, man. Please. Please don't rip it. I don't know about y'all. I'm out of breath. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. I love food. No pool for me. Are you really enjoying yourself tonight? So clap your hands again for the Captain Spirit Coach. Cut the line, Miss Lindsay. Excited. Uh, just to be here. He said Miss Lindsay. Come again, Pastor Lindsay, what you said, Bishop.